laboratory today. A signal was sent from his house, sending for help from emergency personnel. When the ambulance arrived, they claimed that he was already lifeless and had died from a heart attack. Authorities are still trying to figure out if this was natural or if something caused his heart to fail. We'll have more on the topic later on once we interview the authorities. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Good riddance, I say. Oh, come on, Rouge. Sure, he was our enemy and nobody really liked him. But he was still a living, breathing person. We should at least respect his death. Well, don't get all disappointed when you find out you're the only person who isn't celebrating the fact he's dead. What happened to my friends? They used to care about everyone's lives, even Eggman's. Surely Sonic is a little upset by all of this. Sonic, what are you doing here? I brought champagne! Oh, so you too, huh? I guess nobody really does care that he's dead. I mean, I guess it will be pretty boring around here without him. But that also means he won't be trying to kill all of us anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. Actually, Ames, I was gonna go over to his lab to retrieve some stuff that Eggman stole from Tails over the years. Maybe you could come too. That way you can give your condolences to Cubot and Orbot. Thanks, Sonic. I'd really like that. I'm gonna go get Tails' stuff. You can talk to the bots or whatever. Alright. Oh, hello, Sonic. Tails' belongings are in the old computer room. Hi, Orbot. How are you doing? Not too well, to be frank. But I appreciate you asking. I heard he died from heart failure. That must be tough. He didn't die of heart failure, Miss Amy. He was killed. Wait, what? If he didn't die of heart failure, then how did he die? Who would have killed Eggman? Sure, nobody liked him, but none of my friends would ever purposely try to kill him. That being said, who would want to kill Eggman that badly? <sighs> oh, oh no. <laughs> well, well, Miss Rose. The years have been kind to you, my dear. Infinite! We all thought you were dead! How? I must find Sonic. He'll know what to do in this situation. Me? Dead? That shows how little you know, Miss Rose. Even without the Phantom Ruby, he's too fast! <gasps> it's a shame I'm going to have to kill you. You grew up to be such a pretty little thing. But even the prettiest of roses have to wither and die eventually. Chaos Spear! A diversion, hmm? Well played, Shadow. But I will not be so easily fooled next time. Do you know how to get home from here? Yes, I think so. Good. I've told Ruse to inform me when you make it home. Don't get into any more trouble. You're going back? Yes. Hold on there just one second, Shadow. I have a few questions for you. First of all, why were you at Eggman's base? Something tells me you didn't follow me and Sonic just to make sure we would be okay. You know something about Infinite and Eggman's death, don't you? Are you done yet? Yeah, I guess so. Great. Hm. Chaos Control! Hey, man! 
me? Sonic? Orbot told me Infinite attacked you. I looked everywhere, but you were gone. Are you okay? What happened? We thought Infinite captured you. Or worse, killed you. I'm fine. Really. Shadow came and helped me. I'm sorry I made you all worry so much. We're glad you're okay, Amy. Orbot has security footage of the incident that happened back at Eggman's base. Let's go over to Tails' place and take a look at it. Right. Maybe then we can find out how Infinite killed Eggman. Infinite, huh? I haven't heard that name in years. I thought he was dead. We thought so too, but we were hoping maybe we could get some answers from the security footage Orbot found. Oh, sure. I'll just transfer the footage onto this flash drive and then we can look at it on my computer. Transfer complete. Awesome. Now let's get this bad boy plugged in. Hopefully the recording wasn't tampered with. Sonic, don't sit on my desk. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. What's that rippling stuff over there? Wait, what? Can't be. Did did he just use the Phantom Ruby? It sure looks like it, but that's impossible. Infinite himself destroyed all the prototypes, and the original was destroyed as well. It has to be something else. Shadow seemed like he knew something. If only I could just talk to him about all of this. I'll keep the footage here with me so I can analyze it. Possibly figure out how Infinite is using phantom energy without the ruby. In the meantime, you two should warn everybody about what happened today. Maybe I should walk you home, Amy. Just to be safe. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be fine. I only live a few blocks away anyways. Why don't you go and tell the others, okay? Huh. What's she up to? Shadow! I'm not here to accuse you of stuff again! I just want to ask you some questions about Infinite! Huh? Keep it down! Infinite might hear you. Shadow! Don't grab me like that! You scared me! Well then don't yell! Sorry. But anyways, can I talk to you? About Infinite? Please? <sighs> Fine, but not here. Come with me. Thank you, Shadow. Take your shoes off. Okay. Oh, right. Jazz, this is Amy. Amy, Jazz. He's so cute. She, actually. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna change. Just get comfortable or whatever. Looks like it's just you and me for a bit. <laughs> Why does she hate me so much? I've never seen him smile like that before. Damn, damn! Oh, hi Jazz, you scared me. I thought you were Shadow for a moment. Are you done snooping through my things? E yes. You had questions about Infinite. I guess for starters, how was Infinite able to use phantom energy without the ruby? Well, 
I'm able to use Chaos Energy for some things without the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> What's to say it's not the same for the Phantom Energy? So that means, since he doesn't have a ruby, he doesn't have all of his powers from before. That's correct. He's still dangerous, but not nearly as powerful. As long as he doesn't get his hands on a Phantom Ruby, his powers will remain limited. Oh, what a relief. It's a good thing all the prototypes and original Ruby were destroyed. They are all destroyed, Shadow. Right? Yes. Of course they've all been destroyed. I have a bad feeling you aren't being completely honest with me. Are you implying that I'm a liar? N no Of course not! I was just... I'm sorry! <laughs> You're too easily frazzled, Rose. Wait. You were... joking? The Ed's Lord has a sense of humor. Go figure. Are you done testing my patience? Or are you gonna keep going? You're so lucky Infinite stole my hammer. <laughs> I'm quivering in fear. You know what your problem is, Shadow? Oh, do tell. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Rose, go to the room upstairs and wait for me there. Jeez, Shadow. Buy me dinner first, at least. I've had it with your infernal blabbering! Go upstairs now! Unless you want to be jackal food! Alright? Infinite. Alright, you win this round, Shadow. But this conversation is not over. If you think that poorly hiding her will be enough, you are gravely mistaken. You have five minutes before I kill you for coming here uninvited. What do you want? A compromise. What the hell is that? Don't play dumb. You know exactly what this is. Where the hell did you get that? Where I got it is not important. What is important is where it ends up. I'll give you something you want, in exchange for something I want. And what exactly would that be? Don't be coy, Shadow. You know what I want. I want the location of the Phantom Ruby. I don't know if you've been caught up to speed, but they were all destroyed. Why don't we agree not to lie to each other, Shadow, alright? I followed the Phantom Energy Trail to your house. You can fib all you like to your little friend up there. But you can't fool me. I'm not as dumb as I look. You're sure the disc is real? It's not fake? I am many things, Shadow, but a liar is not one of them. I assure you, this is the real deal. If you accept my offer, you can meet me at Eggman's old base tomorrow evening with the ruby. Sound fair? <sighs> Sounds fair to me. I'll see you then. I wonder what's happening down there. It's been awfully quiet. I would have thought they would be duking it out. It's safe to come out now. He's gone. Oh, that's good. What did he want? You guys were awfully quiet down there. Don't concern yourself with it, Rose. He wanted to make a deal, but I haven't accepted it. You can stay here for the night if you want. Leaving now might be dangerous. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Shadow? Hmm? I know how you like to sell out to the highest bidder and stuff, because you like to be a neutral party. But try not to forget the ones who have been there for you, okay? Good night, Rose. Mm. 
It almost sounds too good to be true. Could my searching finally be over? <laughs>